take a look at the goals of management and labor unions. Resolving conflicts in a positive way is usually easiest when the parties involved understand each other's goals. Management goals are to increase the organization's profits. Managers may fear higher costs in wages and benefits, that a union will make managers and workers into adversaries or limit management discretion. This outlook is one reason management may embrace policies and practices that lead to high job satisfaction in hopes that satisfied employees will not be inclined to form unions. In general, labor unions have goals of obtaining pay and working conditions that satisfy their members and of giving members a voice in decisions that affect them. Traditionally, they obtain these goals by gaining power in numbers. The more workers who belong to a union, the greater the union power. Larger unions also have greater financial resources for continuing a strike. The threat of a lawn strike can make an employer more willing to meet demands. The survival and security of unions depends on its ability to ensure a regular flow of new members and member dues, so unions typically place high priority on negotiating contracts relating to union membership or contribution. Maintenance of membership rules do not require union membership, but do require that employees who join the union remain members for a certain period of time, such as the length of the contract. In 2018, the Supreme Court held the public employee unions may not require workers to pay dues because the activities may be considered inherently political and have the effect of being speech protected by the First Amendment. The court's ruling did not address private sector unions.